click the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on the videos. Good day everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video of Smartbook Heights. Here I have a question on electronics that says design a 555 timer a stable multivibrator with period of 2 seconds and a duty cycle of 50%. All right. Now for this, we're given our we're given our period, which is t, to be two seconds. We're given our duty cycle to be fifty percent. All right. Now, for a normal duty cycle that is above fifty percent. We use the formula of T on to be 0 0.693 into R1 plus R2 C. But in this case, because it is 50% and below, we are going to use a different formula where the T on is given as 0 0.693 R1C. So, always remember this range is from 50, is any range that is greater than 50% while this one is for ranges that are less than or equals to 50% now since we are having our duty cycle to be 50% this is the formula we are making use of all right now from here we are asked to design right that means we know how a, uh, a stable multivibrator looks like. Yes, it has two resistors and one capacitor, right? The external capacitor. The other capacitor, as I mentioned in our previous videos, is just for preventing noise. So we need to find the values of R1, R2, and C. How do we find that? Our duty cycle here. we know is given as T on over T, which is our period. Okay, from here, our duty cycle is given. Also, our period is given. We can find our T on, right? Now, our T on, by cross multiplying, we have T, our T, which is 2 second, times our our duty cycle. This one in, is in percentage. So expressing it now, we have 0 0.5. So that means it will be 2 times 0 0.5. From here, we can see our T on, if you take your calculator and calculate, is 1. 1 second. All right, now we have our 1 second to be our time on. Now, how do we get our time off? We know that period T is the summation of time on plus time off. So, that means our time off will be given as T, that is our period, minus our T on. Our t is given as 2 seconds, right? Minus 1, which we calculated our t on to be. This will give us 1. Yeah, of course, after all, it's 50-50 from the 50%. So, we have 1 second to be on, the on time, and then 1 second as the off time. Now, why are we really looking for t on and t off when we are asked to design? Because we have to find the value of r1 and also c. Now, from the formula of T on equals to 0 
R1C, we can calculate for our, for either C or R. Now at this place, designing, since it is designing, we need to assume one of the values. So in this case, I'm going to assume R1. That is my resistor. So I'm assuming it. Let's see, assume. Assuming my R1 to be 10 kilo ohms. Well, from this, I can calculate for my capacitor, right? My capacitor will now be T on over 0.693 R1. Our T on is one second all over. 0.693 our r1 is 10 kilo right so we have 10 kilo now our answer is if you calculate it you get 144.3 micro farad yes we have our capacitance now we have our R1, our capacitance remaining, what remains for us? R2, right. We know that our T of is given us, that is for an a stable multivibrator, is given us 0.693 R2C. Well, we have our C, we have our T of, we can now calculate for our R2. Our R2 will now be T of over 0.693 C. That means it will be 1. Our T of is 1 over 0.693. Then our capacitance, we got it to be 1 for. 4.3 micro yes micro after calculating it we'll be having our resistor value to be 10 kilo ohms as well so now these are our values from this we can design our stable multivibrator Now from here we have all the parameters given. We have our R, we have our R2, our C, and also we assume our R1. Now this is an a stable multivibrator that is having a duty cycle of 50% or less. As we can see, uh, this is how the uh, multivibrator is supposed to look like. Then don't mind my drawing, please. From here, we have our VCC, which is supplied through the H, right? And this for the research has been connected to it. All right, from here, we have our R1, which we assumed it to be 10. So we have our 10 kilo ohms. Here we have our R2, which we got it to be 10 so we have this 10 kilo ohms and this capacitor right here is uh, we got it to be and this capacitor right here we got it to be 144.3 micro Farad. Well, this one we know it to be 0 0.01 micro Farad is a constant so don't don't be afraid, this is just a constant. So, this is how our stable multivibrator will look like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.